Hey Familiar Egg here, welcome back to Shadowverse. Today we're gonna to be playing a Death Ledger Nap deck from Maya of App Media, a JP player. I was looking for an alternative shadow deck that was not aggro or mid-range, and I found this one. And it's fun. Like I've played it a bit on ladder, and it actually does win games. So basically the premise is that you have Death Ledger, and you wanna bring out a Tenet of Night, and you wanna bring out Hell's Unleashed. And you only run one Hell's Unleashed. Um, which I thought, thought was weird at first, but then I realized Death Ledger has kind of down two. And if you draw a Death Ledger and not Hell's Unleasher, you could easily get a Tenet of Night into Hell's Unleasher from the Death Ledger effect, and then you could also get more Tenet of Nights from that as well. And I find that it's really likely to draw that Tenet of Night compared to drawing your Grimnir or Lyrio. I don't know why. Maybe RNG just blesses me, or maybe it's just the way it's coded, but uh, you just you usually get the Tenet of Night in Hell's Unleashers uh, more than anything else. So it uses a lot of mid-game uh, control tools as well, like Foul Tempest, which is really good against mid-range Shadow because it kills all the zombies and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, of course, Grimnir can act as a finisher as well as an early game tool. As always, Grimnir is just insane. Death's Breath, because you accumulate shadows really quickly with this deck. And Foul Tempest, Death's Breath, these things will easily activate, no problem. Pact of the Nether God, actually really good. Killing stuff like huge uh, Reapers, if you can get their health down to four. And then giving you a giant threat at the same time. Uh, really nice. And Soul Conversion, of course, to activate your own Attendant Knights if you don't draw it with Death Ledger, as well as drawing you cards. And it's all run inside this standard NEP framework of 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, but in reality it's more like 2, 3, 7, 8 w without the 4, because you only run one Hell's Unleasher. And uh, even if you do draw the Hell's Unleasher from the NEP, that's not even that bad, because you just get a Lich out of it. Of course, it does mean that if you haven't activated with Death Ledger and play the NEP, you might not get the Cowboy or the Mordecai later on, but in general, it works out pretty well. So versus Luna here. I kind of want to keep the Foul Tempest, don't I? Maybe not. I think I want to draw into it. Let's uh, let's keep the Grimnir though, for sure. Going first though, so that's nice. At least we deny them going first, which is important. All right. So we got removal tools here for the early game, and we have the Dust Ledger in hand, so we know what our game plan is. Just hope that it doesn't kill Grimnir, and that kills a. A Tenant of Night instead. No turn two from us. He's gonna play like a Spartoy Sergeant here. Or a Unica, that works too. I think it's better for me to just remove this and uh, play against the Catacombs rather than playing Grimnir. I don't wanna get wrecked by Catacombs here. It just built up an insane board presence immediately with one card. Bone Chimera. Ah, that's also kind of unfortunate, but. We do have our Death Ledgers here, so let's summon some Liches. Here we go. Get the Liches out. We have two Grimnirs in hand, so it's... Can't really, uh... Well, it's unlikely that we're gonna summon it. He's gonna kill this off. It's fine by me. I'll just play another one. <laughs> Let's keep going on the Lich train. That's all our uh, Kingdom of Knights out. We still have one uh, Hells Unleashed inside the deck as well. The good thing is about the, what the Death Notes is that they also thin the deck a little bit, which is really nice. Oh my god, another one? Man, this card's broken, man, Shadow Reaper. It's freaking cr crazy. It's freaking incredible. So <sighs> okay. Oh, I have a lot of removal tools, though, so I'm just gonna trade in. Say bye -bye to your life. I'll live again. You're mean. Oh. The only problem with removing these is that. Oh my god, these guys are gonna get so freaking huge. Oh god, I hate this! This card is ridiculous! No, we got the Kaui though. I am the mad cyclone. Let's just trade into this one. This one has to die. Uh, my Can you stop the wind? I think I trade into both of them. There's another Lich. There we go. We got quite a board here. Hope that he doesn't have a uh, Foul Tempest, though. He could have teched that in, I don't know. 
to go against the Shadow matchup, the Shadow Mirror. Hope he didn't. Really hope he didn't. So, 5-5 five, five on board. We have lots of dudes on board too. We can remove this with Kaui as well. So it's not too much of a disaster. Too much of a disaster. It's a bit of a disaster now. This huge board is going on. We can't quite kill the uh, Reaper from here either. So. I mean, I could zombie party it. No, I can't even. I, I was gonna say I could zombie party it, packed it, but I can't do that. So what do we do? Is he gonna go face here? It's pretty greedy. I might just Kawi next turn. He's trading. Ah, if he's trading, I can pack this. That's perfect. I can pack it or I can zombie party it. I think zombie party is a little better, right? Get tons of dudes on board. Yeah. Seems good. Life is too dear. Let's go into here. Just clear the whole board. And if he clears me back, I have Nep. So if he like actors me or something, I have Nep here. Which will summon, hopefully, Kawi and Mord. That's the hope, anyway. So, Actor only summons two zombies here. Soul Squasher. It's really not that threatening. It does get him a bit of value, though. Not really sure what to use the pack on, I guess. On, I mean, he's already played two Shadow Reapers, right? If I can run a zombie into Ector and then pack the Ector, that'd be pretty pretty spicy. Ooh. Ooh. That's not very nice. I'm not a huge fan of this. Might just nap, just get, you know, stuff out on the board, but with this few slots on board, it's kind of hard to justify. No, I think I gotta go aggressive. I'm gonna go aggressive. He's running out of fuel, he only has two cards in hand. So, two one twos on the board, not really that threatening, but he could easily Ector and make this more threatening. But if he clears the board, I have the nap to kill the actor and heal back for a lot. And also summon Mords, which is very useful. So what are you going to do here? Time to go a little wild. Cerberus. Will he evolve it, though? I think he might just, uh... He'll evolve it to maybe kill the 4-2 the here. He's gonna Coco one of the 1-2s to kill the 5-3. That's for sure. I don't think he can leave that 5-3 up. Master could eat me. Going face. It's quite strange. Ooh, the Foul Tempest is pretty juicy, actually. I might just use it here. No, I gotta save it for... Zombie parties and stuff, right? This is easier. It's also less painless. Sorry, go. Like you. This is fine. We even have the Grimnir next turn for uh, for zombie parties and extras and stuff like that. But you know, we know how easily Shadow can refill their board, so we should keep the Foul Tempest, I think. And especially since this does the job basically as well. Undying Resentment is pretty much impressing me quite a lot here. I thought I'd get replaced by Zombie Party, but it's pretty good actually. I mean, in this situation, this head can't be taken. I mean, it's not that great because the zombie party would have done the same thing. But... See, now I kill the Ector here, no matter what he does, and then I can just uh, Grimnir. <laughs> the Scully just kills the Ector. Oh god, that's delicious. That's absolutely delicious. Alright, so... 
Yeah. Didn't really quite do anything though. I mean, like, I can't, I can't Grimnir here. I, I mean, I can. <laughs> I think I'd rather get Thrat on board though. I want Mord on the board. I really want Mord on the board, like right now. That's yeah, fine. Sack a lot of my minions, but I really want Mord on the board. Get that consistent source of damage on. Especially since they don't have any banish. And uh, we're starting to grind them out here, and they have no, no more recovery tools. So we could like zombie party, but then I have Grimnir of El Tempest. Look at the amount of shadows I have, it's ridiculous. See, he's Grimnir here, but that's not even going to do anything. My Mord's still going to be on the board, which is why I wanted him on the board in case something like this happened. Okay. I can just Grimnir him right back and then go face. He might just have to evolve to... I mean, if he evolves and tries and kill one of these, the Grimnir's going to die. It's really kind of sad for him. Doesn't really have any good plays, but if he doesn't evolve, he just dies here to my Grimnir. Yep. GG! There you go. Beating mid with Nap. On guard. Let's do this right, guys. This is how you this is how you play Shadow correctly. We're doing this right. Haven. You know, Haven's actually pretty good, man. Haven's actually pretty good. People are finally starting to catch on to what I've been saying. Picking up what I've been putting down. Alright. I don't think I keep any of these. I mean, I could keep Zombie Party, I guess. Nah, I don't really want to. I want minions. This Haven is not, like, really aggressive in the early game. Unless it's Storm. <laughs> well, I don't think it's Storm. I think it's probably Aegis. I think it's probably Aegis, and in that case, early game is a lot better. Here. I want to be on the board. He's going to banish my stuff, but... Yeah, this is getting black in scripture. <laughs> Unfortunately, I really wanted the ledger here. The ledger would have been best here, I think. Beast Call Aria. Okay. Uh, that's really unfortunate for us. There's a ledger! There's a ledger! Okay, so now we got uh, Grimnir, Death's Ledger. I don't really want to play a Tenant of Nine because he's going to black and scripture it, like, so hard. There's no way he doesn't have it, and I can't even activate it anyway, so it's better to just Grimnir than Death's Ledger. Grimnir has more value on board. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Sacred play, right. So down goes Grimnir. Alright, Ledger boys, here we go! The Death Note coming down. I'm gonna take this potato chip and eat it. Hidden <laughs> Ritual. Okay, well that only kills the... Let's actually kill anything. They do this. <laughs> Just go a bit aggressive here. Let's go a little bit aggressive here. It's quite valuable. We have the Attendant of Night Soul conversion now too, which is pretty good. It's one turn away from Themis. He has Lion Spirit, I guess? Cudgel, of course. That's better than Lion Spirit by a lot. <laughs> Why did I forget about that? This is going to ban- oh my god, that actually kind of- that hurts me quite a bit. Yeah, that hurts quite a bit. Uh, and he's one turn away from Thymus, too. Finally a break. God, that's disgusting. Okay. I guess we just do this, because we need to draw a little bit. I'm not going to play anything, though. I'm just gonna choose to go really aggressive here. Force him to Themis. If he, if he Themis is here, I'll be pretty satisfied. I mean, he'll do like eight to, f he'll do like, t he'll do like ten to face, which is quite scary. But if he has to Themis, he can do like twelve to face. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's terrifying. But then I get Death's Breath after this. Stabilize. He's gonna trade. He doesn't have the Themis. He doesn't have the Themis. That's really fortunate for me then. Tribunal. I have to spend a lot of resources on that. Healing kind of sucks. Healing kind of sucks, but what can you do? Yeah, Ledger's done its work. Here we go. I guess we Death's Breath here. What else can we do, right? I don't think we need to evolve here. I don't think we need to evolve yet. Next turn, Cowie. Turn after that, Mordecai, I guess. I mean, we could Pact also, if you play something really threatening. 
Maybe I should have evolved, because he didn't have the Themis last turn. He may not have had it this turn either. Penitent sinners. You know, I guess I can just zombie party, right? Trying out of banishes too. If he clears this, he might. He might clear this. I want to get him to down to down to four by turn ten for obvious reasons, starting with a G and ending with a I clone. <laughs> okay, so he's healing some more. He's one turn away from Aegis now, so we gotta be careful about this. Oh, he just concedes. Okay, that's fine by me. I guess he couldn't remove everything. Another shadow. I think I keep the zombie party here. On some removal at least. Although going first is kind of lame. It's better going second. Be more reactive, I guess. All right, we have the attendant of night soul conversion, but this is like not a very good hand. We need a two drop and a three drop. Uh, zombie party actually does help you, I guess. Like, I want to remove as much stuff from the board as possible. I don't want to get 1-2 Catacombed. Like, I will Zombie Party again if I have to this turn. So I mean, I prefer an Undying Resentment here, but... What can you do? It's just 1-2 Catacomb is too dangerous for me to leave up. But I have a Tender Knight Soul Conversion next, so that's okay. Because I need to draw into something good. I need to draw into something I can actually use. That's not something I can use. You gonna mess with me? I'm gonna tell on you. Uh, you those are still not really things I can use, but I guess it's better than nothing. Next turn, I have a Tenant of Night Evolve, kill the Grimnir. So he's gonna trade into this. It's okay. It's not too bad. What? Oh, so he has Zombie Party? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, not, that's not really that's not good for me. <laughs> All right, we're close though. You gonna mess with me? <laughs> Actually, maybe I should have played the Grimnir there because then if he kills the Grimnir, I can play Zombie Party the next turn. In this case, it's harder for him to, for hard for me to get this off, and then I can't Zombie Party. Sorry, Death Breath. The next turn, that could have been a misplay, like a pretty big one too. What are you hiding inside? That's disgusting. Yeah, see now I can't get the Death Breath off. That's my bad. This is still the better play to Death's Breath here. I think it is. I want to get as much threat on the board. I want to remove his as well. Thing is, with this thing, you just can't even trade into the board, man. This thing is uh, really only great if you have leisure, I guess. I mean, you can go face a lot, I guess. Uh, we have the Kalwi next turn, so hopefully you can stop a little bit of his aggression here. Right in its tracks. That's the hope, anyway. I am the mad right cyclone! Right, we have Kawi into Nep as well. We have some hope. You beckoned. Uh, my power is uncontrollable. I'll live again. Yeah, out comes Kawi here for sure. I mean, there's nothing else I can really do. I mean, I could Death Breath. But I think I want a Kawi here. Onto Kawi here. Maybe I should have traded there. Eh. If he clears my board, I have Nep. That's okay. I can I can stabilize from this, I think. How much can you do to face though? You know, if he Actors here, that'd be pretty freaking scary, right? Maybe I should have cleared board because he has Actor, then that's kind of fucked for me, but I mean I do heal a lot though. I killed the Reaper there. Did you forget about that or something? <laughs> um, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Why not? Um, 
<laughs> okay. What do I, oh man, I actually don't know what to play here. Do I want to clear the board as much as possible? With, like, I can Nether God. I can Cowie. I can go Cowie again. For like you. you could have like a second Nectar. That would be pretty shit. <laughs> but, I'm hoping this is a good way to deal with it. Uh, I'll heal five more. That's okay. breath. Yeah, this is where I need my... Foul Tempest. <laughs> okay. Shadow giveth, shadow taketh away. This head can be taken. There's two different shadows this time though. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, Nep here. Nep summons the second Kaui and a Mordecai onward. Oh, so he's doing this. This is smart. Yeah, this is smart. I mean, he's still, he'll have something on board, but I'll still have the upper hand, I think. Oh, I mean, I could just... No, Grimnir doesn't kill anything here. I mean, he kills a zombie. Not really that good. Let's just find up. Alright, bring that third Kaui out. Oh, we didn't get the third Kaui. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's scary. That's okay. I think our board presence is pretty scary, too. Unless he has lethal from hand. With two cards, that would really suck. What, what could he have? He has nine damage, he needs to do nine more. Hector only does four I'm more. Leaving. Yep, he's leaving. Very fortunate. Sometimes fortunate. And that's it! Nap Ledger! You know, we didn't get to showcase the dragon matchup, but this actually destroys dragon. Like, lightning blast didn't really... Like, it helps, kind of, but like, once the lightning blasts are out, and then, you know, Mord stays on board, and Nep stays, like, summons all these things, and Kaui kills a Bahamut, and it's actually pretty good! If you're looking for an alternative Shadow deck, maybe this is the one to try. Well, that's it for this video, like it if you did, don't if you didn't, subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future, and of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons, you have my eternal gratitude. If you'd like to support the channel as well, you can head on over to patreon.com slash and if not, that's fine too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye